What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is a battle between two of the best that Android has to offer. It's a Prize 5 punch out between the Motorola Droid Bionic on Verizon and the Motorola Photon 4G on Sprint. Now, our judges for this fight are senior editor Bonnie Boom Boom Cha, senior associate editor Nicole Killing Me Softly, and myself, Ring a Ling a Ding Tong. Now, we'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final Prize 5 score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. It's five rumble and tumble rounds. First is design. The Droid Bionic has an amazing looking screen that pops in all of its 4.3 inch glory, and it's also one of the chunkiest and blockiest phones you'll find. But let's be honest, its uber geek target market probably doesn't even care. The Photon 4G is easier to hold with its curved backing and its 4.3 inch QHD screen. We're always fans of a kickstand, and even though I hate the cutoff corners, it's not a complete turnoff for everyone. The Droid Bionic gets a 4, and the Photon 4G gets a 3.7. Next round is user interface and control. Both phones are Motorola's offspring, and they've toned on the blurry UI from previous versions. The Bionic and Photon 4G pretty much share the same OS with subtle visual differences. Both have the swipe keyboard option. The Droid Bionic feels faster overall, and the Photon 4G has a physical shutter button for the camera, but there's nothing here that sets them apart. We're handing out fours to both phones in this round, and after two rounds, the Droid Bionic leads by one-tenth of a point. Next round is features. These phones are feature-packed freaks of nature. Dual-core processors, 4G connectivity, voice-to-text and Google Maps are Android staples, and web-top capability that gives them PC-like functionality with the laptop add-on or docking station is just the start. The Photon's kickstand is a differentiator, and it's a dual-mode phone for CDMA and GSM networks, while the Droid Bionic can handle 1080p HD video capture, but it's a CDMA LTE phone only. These phones have what counts, and we're dishing out perfect fives all around. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. Web browsing is identical on both of these phones with flash content support, pinching and zooming is identical, and multimedia looks gorgeous on both screens. The Droid Bionic packs an 8 megapixel camera that shoots 1080p video, and it also includes the Blockbuster app for movie and TV content, plus Verizon's suite of vCast services. Now, the Photon 4G has its own 8 megapixel camera that captures 720p video at the moment and includes Sprint's multimedia services, but its pictures weren't as bright or as sharp as the Bionic's. The Droid Bionic gets the edge with a 5, and the Photon 4G gets a 4. So let's average out four rounds, and the Droid Bionic leads by three tenths of a point. This one's going to be a close one, and the final round that decides it all is all quality and performance. These are excellent sounding phones, but the Droid Bionic had just a touch of background noise compared to the Photon 4G, which really sounded pristine and natural. Performance-wise, the Droid Bionic is just a hair faster of the two when you're navigating the OS, but its 4G data speeds were impressive on Verizon's LTE network and just crushed Sprint's 4G WiMAX in our own test. This one's just too close to call, and we're tied at 4.7 points apiece in the final round. So let's average out all five rounds, and in a prize fight where the Droid Bionic took a lead early and just held on to it, a surge by the Photon 4G wasn't enough, and the Droid Bionic takes this battle 4.5 to 4.3 and is your prize fight winner. This was another great Android 4G battle, and the Droid Bionic lives up to its editor's choice title and reigns supreme as a smartphone champ in the prize fight ring. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time for another prize fight. Woo